Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Let's study about polymer. What do you know about this word polymer? We know that poly means a lot, a huge, and mers mean molecules. So simply we can say that polymerization reaction is actually the process where the number of tiny molecules are attached together to form a large molecule. That large molecule is called polymer and the tiny molecules those are actually joining each other these are called monomer and the reaction or the process that they are actually combining this is called polymerization reaction in this video I shall only focus on polymer and polymerization reaction and this is the continuation video series uh, under the organic chemistry series you know that previously I have uploaded a lot of videos earlier and this is the continuation and under the polymer resistant reaction this tutorial based on SSC level and O level syllabus so polymer is uh, what actually the combination or the uh, large molecules which is actually made up of some numberable uh, tiny molecules or monomer if there are two monomers attached together two monomer attached together then we say this is dimer we say this is dimer when there are three monomers is at, attached together then we say this is trimer and when there is n number of monomer i mean there is no specific limitations but number of monomers attached together then this is polymer so according to the according to the structure we can say uh, that the polymer is actually two types and these are addition polymer and condensation polymer what is the meaning of these addition addition polymer and condensation condensation polymer addition polymer are those polymers they are actually formed by the addition reaction when the monomers are directly connected with each other like polythene, polypropene, polyvinyl chloride these are the productions this is also polymer but this is addition polymer but in case of condensation polymer these polymers when, when the tiny molecules or monomers will attach each other they will release some other molecules like carbon dioxide and water molecule so when the monomers are directly connected with each other and form a long chain polymer that is called addition polymer like polythene, polypropene and polyvinyl chloride PVC simply we say it PVC or polyvinyl chloride and in case of condensation reaction or condensation polymer what is happening I mean the monomers are joining each other but before joining each other they will release some other molecule like what water molecule or even carbon dioxide molecule let's study about addition polymer simply we can say that addition polymers are those where the monomers are directly connected okay think about it number one if we think about uh, polythene polythene then you see that CH2 double bond CH2 this is ethene so when a number of ethene molecule will attach each other but there is a condition the condition is the temperature or the pressure is 1000 atmospheric pressure and, uh, and 100 100 or 200 degree Celsius temperature with the presence of little amount of little amount of oxygen little amount of oxygen then it will produce polythene so the production is CH2 the double bond would be vanished and single bond would be there and this is CH2 so this is actually polythene and this is ethene simply this is ethene and this is polythene now you see that polythene is the 
combination or the summarizations of the molecule of ethane. So that is why this is simply addition reaction and this is addition polymer. Polythene is the addition polymerization of ethane. Think about polypropene. Poly, poly, pro, -pene. In this reaction, what is going on? Propene molecule, that is CH2 double bond, CH, CH3, that is <clears throat> propene. So when propene molecule is attached each other with the presence of 140 atmospheric pressure and 120 degrees Celsius with the presence of titanium chloride titanium chloride then it will produce CH2 bond CH CH3 that is actually polypropene polypropene so this is poly polypropene and simply polypropene is much stronger than polythene so in case of production of rope, carpets and other things, polypropene is used comparatively better than polythene. And thirdly, we also can see that in case of uh, poly, polyvinyl, vinyl chloride, polyvinyl chloride, that is actually PVC, what is going on? Vinyl chloride that is CH2 double bond CHCl. So the number of vinyl chloride, this is vinyl chloride with the presence of high temperature and pressure. High temperature, high temperature and pressure with, with the presence of with the presence of uh, this is this is actually vinyl chloride and high temperature and pressure but in the presence of organic peroxide organic organic peroxide then it will produce bond ch2 ch cl and that is actually pvc and this is pvc so very simply from the addition reaction or addition polymer we see that polythene is producing from ethene polypropene is producing from propene propene from polypropene and then polyvinyl chloride is producing from the vinyl chloride so this is vinyl chloride and this is polyvinyl chloride so simply i mean <clears throat> those who are watching right now this tutorial please think about the polymer reactions is based on two types only the structure because they are adding directly but in case of condensation reaction there will be some little bit difference so whenever you see this sort of reactions please consider these things the catalyst and the condition in case of temperature and pressure are very important so do not miss these when you will answer it in your question paper so simply this one polythene polythene Propene, polypropene, and vinyl chloride to vinyl, polyvinyl chloride. Now let's uh, concentrate on the condensation polymer. What about the condensation polymer? You probably heard about nylon 66. It's a polymer that is uh, the combination from the reactions from adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine. I hope you heard about it. Nylon. Nylon, nylon 66 is a polymer <clears throat> which is actually producing from two different reactors. That is, that is, think about it. Uh, C double O H H double O C C H two four C double O H. This is what? This is adipic acid with this with this ch2 6 nh2 so here two amine group is added with six carbon alkyl is added together so that is called 
hexamethylene diamine okay the name is hexa because there are six carbon in each reactor you see there are six carbon four two and there is two so again this is same six carbon but two amino group is added and that is why this is called the hexamethylene diamine so when hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid is heated with the presence of with the presence of titanium oxide with the presence of titanium oxide what is happening very simply water molecule will be produced i mean in each side and each molecule both oh will be added with a single hydrogen and they will produce n number of water molecule in each time so very simply if i make you more understand that you see that this carbon is like <clears throat> this is double bond o and oh okay here ch2 is 4 similar way here is double bond and oh so this is fatty acid you know that c double oh is the functional group of fatty acid and similar way this is nitrogen and hydrogen is added with this like ch2 6 nitrogen hydrogen is added and just simply making it a simple fragmentation now you see that each time what will happen this hydroxyl and hydrogen this hydroxyl and hydrogen in both sides they will form two molecule of water and then the production under the reactions of titanium oxide you are heating it and then this OH will be released so this is actually CO CH2 4 CO and then NH so what is going on actually but the, the thing is that this carbon molecule is added with nitrogen NH then CH2 6 NH so here is the thing that the number of number of molecule will be added and each time OH and OH two molecule of hydroxyl is moving on so n n number of the same number of adipic acid and same number of hexamethylene diamine will add it together and they will release two molecule of water and this is actually this is actually the formula of 9 and 6 comma 6 and this is simply a condensation polymer so some of you may f I mean find it problematic but you, whatever from the first side you might see that this is very longer version reaction or something bigger is that but this is very easy so simply you you need to remember one thing that C double OH the formula is adipic acid this is adipic acid and this is hexa hexamethylene hexamethylene diamine so nylon 6 comma 6 production is happening due to the combination of adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine if it is being heated with the presence of titanium oxide so this is nylon 6 comma 6 so I hope you understand I understand this uh, polymer very simply I explained polymerization reaction and again uh, polymers can be even divided into two parts based on their source it can be natural polymer or it can be synthetic polymer like plastic so natural polymer these are called like cellulose and starch you know that it is uh, the part of plant and these cellulose and uh, starch are called polysaccharide because this is form of uh, the monomers are glucose so when number of glucose is added together and then form starch and polysaccharide uh, starch and cellulose this is 
happening naturally and that is why this is called natural polymer even protein is a polymer which is uh, combining together with uh, the amino acid so number of amino acids form together and produce uh, protein so protein is polymer and amino acid is monomer even you definitely heard about rubber plants when rubber is again a natural polymer so in case of uh, synthetic polymer you heard about plastic which is uh, easily can be melted but it's not good for the environment and our nature so uh, plastic is widely used though but this is a sad thing but simply uh, polymers based on source are two types that is natural polymer and synthetic polymer and in case of structure we have just explained two types that is um, um, uh, addition polymer and uh, condensation polymer you just remember one thing that addition polymer is they will directly add I mean the monomers will directly add to form the addition polymers like polythene, polypropene and polyvinyl chloride and in other case here the nylon 66 will be formed with the reaction of adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine okay so I hope you understand if you face any trouble please do not hesitate to write me down in the YouTube and Facebook comment sections thank you so very much see you on the next tutorial bye